Hello there, I'm Shane Young, and I get the privilege of helping you learn Copilot Studio. But before we start, I did want to let you know that I worked with the Microsoft product team to create this awesome training for all of you Power Platform rock stars. Cool? Cool. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so next up, we want to evaluate the incident using our Word doc. Easy enough. So first, let's go find our Word doc. So switch over to SharePoint. So here in my SharePoint document library, I have just a incident handling guidelines document library. And then there is one Word document where we can look at the incident severity and type determination doc. So if we open the document, this loads it into Word. And so what I've done in here is I'm basically said, hey, a major incident is this, and I've given it examples. A non-major incident is anything that's not major. And then if it's not major, then we want to figure out, is it personal injury? Is it property damage? And if it's neither of those, then it's a pending incident. Okay, so that's my core instructions. And I'm not gonna read them all to you, goodness gracious. But remember, you can always pause the video and kind of read them if you wanted. But also up here, I want you to talk about that I've got points to consider. So the whole reason we wanted to do this with a Word document instead of a bunch of text inside of our instructions is I want it so that users could come in, edit the Word document, and the agent next time it ran would just take their new information into account. Because what I imagine to happen is that over time, they're gonna find that, hey, certain incidents get miscategorized. And so we know that we could go and add instructions to get those types of incidents to categorize correctly. Or maybe you have some industry specific language, right? Maybe every time somebody says widget, that is a major thing for you guys. And so then that word should always trigger it, right? So you could come in here and continue to refine this document. It's a living, breathing document that is going to help the agent make the best decisions. It only knows as much as you tell it. So that's why we wanna give this word document all of the right details. Also, remember, when I wrote the first version of this document, it was good, it wasn't great. I went over to Copilot Chat and I said, hey, here's my document, here's what I'm trying to do, here are the scenarios that aren't working, can you help me write this better so the custom agent in Copilot Studio will make better decisions using this information and it helped me refine the document. So don't be afraid to use other large language models to better form this document. I, I probably, I didn't even try it, but I probably could have used even the Copilot right here inside of Word and gotten its help. Maybe that's what I'll try next time. So different tools, but use the tools at your disposal to get better information. Okay, so that's our Word document, so let's close out of here. Okay, so over here what I wanna do is I need to add that as knowledge. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit. We can say add knowledge here. So we'll do that. And so we don't want a public website. We don't want Dataverse, we want SharePoint. So this SharePoint is for working with your SharePoint document libraries. So we're going to click on SharePoint. We're going to say browse files. Now we could give it an entire SharePoint site. We could give it a SharePoint document library, or in this particular case, what I'm really after is here my Copilot agent site. I'm going to hit the little flipper, change this to instant handling guidelines, and I'm going to say just use literally this one document. So if people put other documents in here, they're not going to cloud its judgment. Remember, the more targeted the information, the less decisions it has to make, the better results you're going to get. So we're going to say confirm selection. Now here for the name, I'm just gonna take off the docs X, I'm gonna say procedure, so that way it kinda of knows. And then for the description, I'm gonna kinda of completely rewrite this and do something like, I'll paste it on the screen, but use the knowledge source to determine the severity and type of an incident. So giving it more context, context is king, context is always good. So we'll say add, that is all set, so now it's added. Now. I'm also gonna take a second here, allow the AI to use its own general knowledge. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I don't want it, let's say continue. I don't want it to make decisions based on other things that it knows. I want it to use my procedure documents, right? Because it may have found someone else's procedure document. Maybe it's already in that large language model brain, all the things that are aren't major. But I really want, especially as I fine tune that document, to really follow my specific guidance. So I'm gonna disable this. Totally up to you. You could leave that on, especially in this scenario, if you didn't have a very well flushed out document, you might be better off leaving this on. So try it either way, but for me, I'm going to go ahead and disable this. So then now if we scroll up here, we'll say edit, and then we're going to say, evaluate the incident using the knowledge, incident severity and type determination procedure, and all available information to determine the severity of the incident. So this is what it should use to categorize what is going on. So. We'll try it, right? What's it gonna do, not work? That's okay. If it doesn't, we'll try something else. So we'll cut these out again. 
And now we'll go ahead and say save. And then we'll go down here to our triggers. We'll click on the test beaker, I think I decided it was. And then we're gonna say start testing again. And while that's running, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my clipboard. So next time I will show you not doing it that way, but doing it the other, okay? So there's our three actions running to get the information. There's our action running to get the flow, right? You should feel consistency, right? Like it, the repetitive nature is great. You're seeing that it's making the same decision every time, which is what we're after. Then there is our update description. And there at the bottom is the evaluation. And basically it's like, hey, not a big deal going on over here, which is the way that I would read the incident as well, right? So I feel like we're headed down the right path. At this point, we can go back over here to our overview. We'll do our edit. We'll paste back in our two instructions again. And it looks like next up, we need to configure it to send an email with what's going on. All right, so let's hit save here. And I'll see you over the next video where we'll add a Outlook action.